Bro, you gotta fucking stop. You gotta stop with all this I can't catch a break bullshit. All the time you're complaining, you could be instead hustling. You could be instead chasing your dream. You could be instead figuring out what you're doing wrong, trying to prove certain aspects of your life, getting your shit together, reading a book, meditating, something. Fucking something. But this I can't catch a break shit is not helping anybody, and it pushes everybody away from you. I don't know, man. Yeah, yeah, Lennox Lewis. Lennox, I'm coming for you. Mike, is it frustrating to train like you did and then have no, this in seven or eight seconds? For this fight. I only trained probably two weeks or three weeks for this fight. I had to bury my best friend, and I dedicated this fight. I wasn't going to fight. I dedicated this fight to him. I was going to rip his heart out. I'm the best ever. I'm the most brutal and vicious and most ruthless champion there's ever been. There's no one can stop me. Lennox is a conqueror. No, I'm Alexander. He's no Alexander. I'm the best ever. There's never been anybody that's ruthless. I'm Sonny Liston. I'm Jack Dempsey. There's no one like me. I'm from their club. There's no one that can match me. My style is impetuous. My defense is impregnable. And I'm just ferocious. I want your heart. I want to eat his children. Praise be to Allah. Are you saying now, Mike, the bike? Motherfucker, the purpose is you. We forget that. Every fucking day I wake up and I don't want to do some fucking shit. I'm like, okay, man, do you want to be a bitch today? Do you want to feel like a little bitch? Do you want to walk around all day knowing that you could, but you didn't? He should have killed me when he had the chance, because now I'm back and I'm going to kill you and your whole team. You and them kids. Be the guy who embraces the ugly, the miserable. Be the guy who embraces hard work, the grind. Don't be afraid of being hurt. Don't be afraid of a sacrifice of some blood. When I'm hurt, I, I love it. I love that feeling because it's real. That's the most realest feeling that you could ever have, is being in pain because everything else, happiness could be fake, crying could be fake, but pain, shit, that's real.